to Steve Hartman with a Memorial Day tradition that hits all the right notes. Monday at precisely three o'clock your local time, a call will sound and it will sound everywhere. It will echo past the fissures and fractures of our torn country and ask Americans to set aside their differences and unite, if only for these 24 notes. Musicians, get ready for the third annual nationwide performance of TAPS. We originally started TAPS Across America to move focus away from the hamburgers and hot dogs and back to the real purpose of Memorial Day, to honor. And by the thousands, musicians have answered our call. 86-year-old Paul Freeberg of Surprise, Arizona will be playing for a second year. Because I love our country, so actually there was no way I could say no. The Frisbee Brothers of Newcastle, Delaware will be back again too. A lot of men in our family have served in the Army. Our great-grandfather, our grandfather, and our father. And Eagle Scout Ricky Lazaro is returning, but he lives near Uvalde, Texas, so he'll be playing with a new purpose this year. It's deeply saddened me, sir. Playing taps is the least I can do. The reasons they play are as varied as the landscapes on which they stand. Some performers are heard by hundreds, while others, like Lori Williams of Moriarty, New Mexico, play for no audience at all. At least, none apparent. I don't think it matters where you play, because those who need to hear it, hear it. So you're playing for those above? Absolutely. And that's the audience, our omnipresent past, who we honor with this Coast to Coast concert. But of course, it's also for the living, who this week especially may need this 24-note reminder that there are still some things we all stand for, and one thing that will forever bind us, our shared grief.